What now, Fräulein? I was just about to doze off. About Junta's coffer. What about it? Where did the coffer in the loft come from? In fact, Father made it himself during the long winter evenings. He wanted something more elegant and solid than the old family coffer where he kept the takings. So he made the one upstairs, thanks to the techniques he learnt when he worked in the Vorlberg factory in Valadilen. Valadilen in France? That's right. The price Junta paid was equivalent to a month's worth of takings. Money well spent, though, because it was built like a mountain fortress. You wouldn't happen to know the combination, would you? I told you before, I don't know it. How did you meet Leon Kobatis? Why do you ask? You from the police or something? No, I just thought I'd ask, since you seem to appreciate him. Didn't you? Fräulein, when I said you could look in the guest rooms, it didn't include my room. But yes, like I said before, he was a regular customer even before the episode with Dana. To me, he was like a movie star. What young girl wouldn't be bowled over by a young, handsome alpinist? And to top it off, an Olympic medalist? Can you tell me about the resistance medal with your name on it? Sure, I was in the resistance. Not for those medals, though. Nothing but tin charms. You see, there's those who received medals, and those that were killed. And besides, they aren't going to give me my legs back, are they? No, but they prove you played a part in the liberation of your country. Nonsense. Nothing but bad memories. I'd rather not talk about it. I'll be going then. That must lead to the other side of the circus. That must be the notice the alpinist at the refuge spoke about. It prohibits access to Devil's Pass due to the bodies of the resistance fighters found on the ice. Dazzling up here. I can see why they call it the Silberspiegel. Silber means silver, and Spiegel is mirror. The silver mirror. It certainly lives up to its name. It's not the time to take the tram back. There's still a lot to do here.
There's a cap blocking the view. There must be a way of removing it. It won't budge. There must be a way of unblocking it somewhere else on the mechanism. Oh, the mechanism is blocking it. I have to put in a coin. Typical. Fabled Zilberspiegel. Oh, I wish I had time to watch it change color. So that's what they call the Devil's Pass. Incredible. The bodies of the resistance fighters that the Alpinist mentioned must be inside. Creeps just thinking about it. So much going on in these mountains. Now and before. But I'd better get back on track or I'll end up renting a room from Demoiselle Lenny and explore the area for weeks. I've told you all I know. The coffer Junta used for her equipment is up in the lot. It was father who mechanized all the refuge for me.
I'll need a key to open it. Wagen Refuge, 1937. Juntas films, taken during the summer Dana worked here. This one says Lenny, director. So I guess Lenny did get to make her film after all. A film developing company. They probably developed Yunta's films and sent them back once they were done. Looks like she didn't note down the end of her meeting with Dana. But it might still contain the info I need to open the coffer. No doubt Yunta must have written this. Summer 1937. The year Dana worked here. Let's see. I filled my last diary last night. Ordered another one, but still waiting for supplies to be delivered to the refuge. Using an old envelope in the meantime. Today invited Dana for a chat after her shift. I'd like to know what Leon sees in her. I've never seen him so smitten. Thanks for popping up, Dana. How did the shift go? Fine. Same as usual. Just finishing up here, then I'll make us a nice cup of tea. Wow. That looks futuristic. What is it? Ah, that little baby is my viewer. That's why it goes in the coffer. What does it do? I use it to put together and edit the rushes. The what? <laughs> rushes. In other words, the strips of unedited footage. I've finished today's selection, so be a dear and put it in the coffer, would you? I would if I knew how. Oh, just turn the key in the lock. Gustav's radio. Looks like he customized it, probably to compensate for the wave disturbance due to the mountains. Did you take this picture? Of course. How did you get to film them training? Oh, it was a commission. Lucky, really. Right place, right time kind of thing. Of course, I jumped at the chance because it meant I could film Leon in action at last. And Herr Hus, what's he doing with the Origin Expedition? Unfortunately, all scientific expeditions sponsored by the Brown Shadow come with a chaperone like him. There to make sure their funds are used as they see fit. In other words, that there is no divergence with regards to their ideology. How did you and Leon get together? I mean, how did you... We're just friends, if that's what you want to know. Hmm. Looks like I'm out of options for now. I should check on what Dana did in 1937 while she was here. It might show me a way to open the coffer. That's a lot of equipment you have there. If you don't mind my asking, how do you manage to pay for it all? Oh, that's easy. Especially when you know a few generous patrons of the arts, dear. Did you take the photos of the athletes? <laughs> 
You're not often lonely, then. Well, look at our sweet little waitress. Doesn't she have a saucy mind? It's called art, dear. My work aims to explore every facet of youth and the vitality of bodies. I bet it does. Hey, you little snoop. Where do you think you're going? Just looking. All these newspaper clippings mention the brown shadow. According to Father, their influence is growing among the population. Now that I've had the misfortune of meeting Herr Huss here, I understand his concern. Junta's blank film, soon to become movies. I love your photos. Ah, well they each represent an element of mountain wildlife and flora I've photographed recently. I use them as a sort of checklist. A checklist, huh? According to Yunta's notes, there was a room on the other side. I can't reach it anymore, but Dana could. The coffer is right there, darling. Take the key in the coffer, Dana, my sweet. The key Yunta asked me to hide. Dana, be a darling and put the key somewhere safe. You can't be too careful with these mountain people, especially with that little Lenny sniffing around my equipment all the time. I think you ought to know. On the night we first met, when that horrible huss made such a fuss, I caught Lenny playing with one of your camera lenses. I knew it! I just knew she was rummaging in my things! I'll make that little brat sorry we ever met, believe me. Where do you normally put it? I have a little hiding place over there. Thanks for helping, Dana dear. Be a darling and put the key in the stash near my bed, would you? Is this where you want me to put the key? Yes, there's a dear. It's a handy hiding place. Who made it? Oh, Herr Gustav. He knows only too well that some customers have their little secrets, you know. Yunta's key should be safe in there. Just need to finish preparing for the filming tomorrow, then we can chat away to our hut's content. If you could just fetch me a new roll of film from the darkroom, then we're done.
Here are the film rolls Yunda asked me for. The end of Yunta's notes. Impossible to know what happened next. But maybe I can figure out how to open the coffer from what I've read. This is where Yunta's bed used to be, which means her secret stash can't be far. Impossible. Wrong one. Yunta's coffer key. find the combination for the mechanism. That doesn't work. The screen is in the way.
Interesting footage. Let's see what's on the other reel. Lenny didn't say she filmed a fight between Dana and Leon. I'd better go back and see her to find out about it. Demoiselle Lenny, I saw the film you shot of Dana and Leon. So Junta kept it. 
She got so cross when she discovered I'd rummaged through her stuff. She most certainly had secrets of her own, that one. I know it was ages ago, but can you recall what happened between Dana and Leon that day? You do like flogging a dead horse, don't you, Fraulein? But as you please. Since Junta never let me use her camera, I decided not to ask her anymore. Like that, she couldn't say no, could she? And that's when I heard them arguing. How could you agree to this, Leon? How could you? I told you, I had no choice. The local guide for Baltayar can't do it anymore. He got injured. Why don't you just refuse then? It's their stupid expedition, not yours. Look, Dana, I didn't want to tell you, but... But what? Frank Huss, that brute from the other night. He's the one that made the call here. In other words, he's taking revenge by sending me to the other side of the world with the Origin Expedition. And he said that if I refused, something might happen. Not just to me, but to you as well. What do you mean? You know what I mean. You're a Vagarian and so are your parents, right? Well, Huss says it won't be long before the Brown Shadow is in power and he made it clear that something was brewing and that you and your parents will be first on the list. What list? I don't know, but it can't be good. Then he said that other Vagarians would follow. Dear God. Dana, darling, the world's gone crazy. Promise, promise me you'll be very careful. It will be all right if you just watch yourself and what you say. I've asked you to stand by you just in case. It won't be long, darling. Half a school year at the Music Academy. I'll be home for Christmas. Promise. Oh, uh, come here now, my pretty Edelweiss. Don't call me that. You know I don't like it. It's true, though. That's exactly where you are, my pretty Edelweiss. If you keep that up, Leon Kobatis, I'll find you a nickname, too. <laughs> Go on, then. All right. Your nickname will be Alpine Lover from now on. All right, but maybe you uh, ought not to say this in public. Beautiful, isn't it? I could stay here forever. There, Fraulein Walker. That is all I have to say. I hope this time you have what you need to continue on your journey. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny. But there is just one more thing. You mentioned a music academy? They must have ledgers and archives. Maybe I'll be able to find out whether Dana left an address there. Well, it hasn't moved. It's still in Vargen. Go to the Musicians' District. It's right next to the Musical Square. That's all I can tell you, so if you don't mind, Fraulein. Thank you. Then that's where I'll continue my search. Is it really worth your while to keep looking for Dana? Is it not just another pipe dream, Fraulein? I get the impression there have been others. I prefer to look at it as a calling. Besides, I don't have much choice. Thanks to you, she's a part of me now. As you wish. I hope you find what you are looking for. Thank you. Again. I've got everything I need from here, I guess. Best get back to the guest house. Get some rest. I'll go to the music academy first thing in the morning.
So, I expect this will be our last goodbye then, Fraulein. If I were you, Fraulein, I wouldn't wait too long before returning to the tram. It's a fair trot back to the station, you know. The girl in the painting. Her name is Dana. Dana Rose. That's nice, Kate. Real nice. I'm gonna find out who she was, just like I promised you. Nothing more than a good old adventure to forget your grief, I guess. You should go, Kate. Or you're gonna miss the tram. Mm -hmm.
what a day. Oscar's okay, wherever he is. I'm not abandoning him. I just need to find him. Closed. It's late. Frau Wagner must have gone to bed. I beg you, Kate, please come back and say goodbye to your mother. Call me so we can organize your return in the best conditions possible. Call me for the sake of what's left of our friendship. There's no point. It's too late, Olivia. Not a soul here. Not surprising, given the time. Nothing relevant. The expedition mustn't have led to any major breakthrough, I guess. It's a shame that Demoiselle Lenny is so modest about having been a member of the Resistance. She's a true hero.
No results about Dana. She probably never got famous. Huh. Yunta. Demoiselle Lenny told me a lot about her. But was she some kind of spy? The more I discover about Dana, the more I get the feeling I'm only scratching the surface of Wagen's history. Oh, but hey, let's call it a day. I really should go to bed now. Vaughan Institute for Forensic Science and Medicine. Charming.
Is that you, Katie? Yes, Mom! I mean, who else can it be? Come on, I've been cooped up in my room for hours. Jeez, pulling my hair out, trying to figure out the math problem Miss Wormwood gave us. I deserve a break, right? Mommy, can I go out and play with Olivia? <sighs> that depends on you, Munchkin. Did you finish your homework? Uh, yeah, more or less. So I can come check it then, right, Katie? Actually, it looks too cold to go out. I uh, think I'll stay in. Just what I was thinking. <sighs> Not fair. It just isn't fair. Miss Warwood has piled a ton of homework on us this weekend. Looks like Mom's friends came over again last night. She's been seeing them a lot since what happened to Dad. Maybe too much. <sighs> Another letter for Dad. Last time it took Mom days to find the strength to open it. Grandpa and Grandma from New York gave it to me for my last birthday. I really ought to read it, or at least dog-ear the pages so it looks like I did. The piano that Mom ordered will soon be here. I couldn't bring myself to tell her that I wanted a drum kit instead. <sighs> Mom bought those again. Wow, I hope I get to travel around the world too when I grow up. Oh, hello, Munchkin. Hey, Mom. Is everything okay, Katie? How are you doing with your homework, Munchkin? Are you getting bored, Katie? Because if you are, I can always find a chore or two for you. No, Mom, I'm just fine.
We haven't seen Grandpa and Grandma for a long time. Mom says they'll probably come over from New York on her birthday. Got your music box. Be careful with that, please, Munchkin. Where'd this come from? I already told you. Your grandma and grandpa gave it to me when I was little. Doesn't look like it's from New York, though. I don't know. Must have been in the family forever. I just love it. You've always liked it. Ever since you were little. Will you give it to me when I'm big? Maybe, if you're a good girl, when I get old. So when will that be then? Later, Katie. In a very, very long time, I guess, when I'll be gone. <sighs> 